together this afternoon, Dev. You want to uh, give everybody the lowdown? We're at round three of the uh, Wave Leader tournament here at Sword and Board. And uh, we've got Evan uh, bringing real jank, rebel, no, imperial, scum. That's the one. Four ship. Third time's a charm. Just wait till there's seven factions. <laughs> So Evan's bringing a, a really interesting scum list here versus Smith's uh, Imperial Aces. Evan C, of course, being the Mr. Smith of X-Wing. He, yeah, in a digital correct. space, uh, is pretty tough to deal with. I mean, when you have the micrometers and human error taking out of X-Wing and it's just pure uh, probability and maneuvering a little bit like that, he, 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 he tends to be uh, pretty inevitable. And then, of course, you've got uh, Sumit Your Doom mm -hmm. uh, on the right-hand side here, um, who, despite the sincerest efforts of all of his league mates, explaining that there is, in fact, a second edition of X-Wing, which encompasses more ships than simply Defenders, Phantoms, and Strikers. He loves them so damn much that he just goes with them. I hear they're okay in 2.0, though. They're pretty okay. It's yeah. true. Duchess, uh, I-5, same ability. She can opt to... Uh, use her adaptive ailerons or not. The new catch, of course, is that she can also do the adaptive aileron if she chooses while stressed. Ooh. Very, very good improvement. Uh, we've got Whisper with the two auto-includes uh, that go along with Whisper. Choke and Cloak. Choke and Cloak. Yeah. Gotta love it. Uh, Whisper and then, with Duke uh, and Darth Vader. Rexler Blath. Rexler Blath is interesting in 2.0. Uh, they've made his ability more reliant on the evade than the focus token from the 1.0 variant. And with that I-5, he's likely to have it. Indeed, yeah. Well, in 1.0, he was a PS8, if I remember correctly. I think with uh, VI. No, no, no. Uh, Vessery was PS6. I'm pretty sure Vess was PS6 and Brath was PS8. Um, so kind of the same thing of being an I-5 in, uh, in 2.0. Uh, but yeah, and then over on the left-hand side, we've got Evan Cameron, who has uh, actually begun. We have to, you know, Devin, we should have a conversation about this because I really like Evan's wife uh, and his whole family. And I don't and think I've had the the pleasure of meeting her. No, well, I just like I feel like we should maybe consider uh, letting his wife know about the love affair that that Evan has begun with with Forlom because. Mm. The, the 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 insecto droid um, and Evan have been pretty tight recently. They've been seen spending I mean, a lot of time together. Well, I mean, it's a very sexy insect cyborg. It's true, very true. I mean, like I I do for long. Well, if if we had to quote something from uh, from Dion, our friend over at Gold Squadron. And it was like uh, a woman half on top and four lam on the bottom, or uh, four lam half on bottom and uh, a woman on top. You know, I guess if we had to, right? I'm. Very confused. <laughs> you got to watch that Gold Squadron video where uh, Dion's coming back from uh, from the doctor. It's pretty jokes. Yeah, I On that note, let's give a big thank you to our good friends here locally at uh, VWTV Live who are hosting the content this afternoon, bringing you great X-Wing content from north of the border in the cold white north. FFG content in general. They got oh, yeah. everything on this channel. True, very it's true. Amazing. And a sincere uh, happy Thanksgiving to our friends south of the border this weekend. I hear there's only been five stabbings at Black Friday shopping this year. Marked improvement. Mm. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I hope that we're entertaining you on a uh, Thanksgiving weekend. And uh, I'm, I'm interested at uh, how Evan is deployed because it looks like he's pointed right at some rocks. And uh, Tim. <laughs> well, before I went off on one of my classic tangents uh, that would have absolutely no point whatsoever, uh, Evan, I was talking about his love affair with Forlom. So this list used to be Guri, Forlom, and Pelob. And we saw that when Evan uh, came in uh, the top cut of the PTL Open yep. a few weeks back. And what great he's, time. Very great times. Amazing times. Um, what we see here is him taking Guri and splitting it into two ships. So he's uh, ratcheted down um, a couple of things on Forlom, and now he's... Just given Paylob Moldy Crow, lost the triple zero, etc. So Paylob's just got the Crow title, which allows him to get the extra arc for stealing tokens and the three die primary, which is great. But what he's been able to do by doing that with Guri out of the list, shockingly, is to still be able to afford the four law Mist Hunter uh, upgrades with Advanced Center and be able to bring Cavill and a Gun, a gun Runner uh, into this list here, which is going to give him just. 
an area of denial for Sumit's Imperial ships here. Okay, here's advanced sensors on Forlom. Now, Whoa. we should talk about the upgrades here on Evan's list, because Sumit's got run a very, he's got a very tight list and very few upgrades, but Evan, wow. So, trick shot, dorsal turret, proton torpedoes, R4 astromech, and hand solo on Cavill. So now Cavill says if he's attacking, he gets to roll an extra dice, correct? Correct, okay, yeah, while you a perform non a non-primary weapon out of your front arc shot. So turrets pointing forwards count. Right. And So uh, that dorsal turret is now two dice, three dice at range two, four dice at range one, and if he's got trick shot, it's four dice at range two, five dice at range one if it's obstructed. Yeah, you got to think of Cavill basically as a 360-degree X-wing. Right. Because he's got the dorsal turret uh, in any direction. Now, and on top uh, of that, he's got a proton pointed torpedo. forwards. Correct. And he's got proton torpedoes, great upgrade, killing it out there. Evan's and sporting those fancy jerseys that he won at the PTL Open on his ships there. Yep. Hand Solo Gunner. Rex or Blath, five up, straight. Probably going to use that uh, newly improved Defender boost, 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 boost. boost. Nothing broken about a uh, Defender getting a, uh, a five straight boost, is there, Devin? I thought you forgot about the, the fact they had a Oh, I did. I learned the hard way they had the boost. That's true. Thank you, Christian. So I think, uh, Victor, can you put R4 Agromech up there? I just need to remember what it does. Sure. Yeah, the R4 lets Boom. him decrease the basic uh, uh, difficulty of his maneuvers, so Cavill's going to be able to use his red actions and still have lots of options. And so if we get Cavill up there as well, you're going to be able to see that he's got a ton of uh, options here. You can focus or target lock, and he's got two red actions, which I'm assuming we will never see. Um, I think with Cavill, with Han Solo, <coughs> he's going to be trying to push those those dice up into the they'll get those four die five die attacks and uh, being able to target lock into a focus every round at I five I think is going to be very good for him. Yeah, and he still has all the blues in the world to clear that stress the following turn after he hung gunners. No, it's a great combo. Um, now, and you know, Victor. Actually, you know what? Uh, I think I think definitely Sumit does. Well, yeah. All of his ships move before Cavill. Correct. I think that's the case. Yeah. yeah. Now there's a stress token over there by Cavill. Did he? Uh, what's? Yeah. Yeah. So we confirmed that Sumit definitely has uh, player one. So yeah. Sumit's player one. Uh, so all of Sumit's fives will activate before Cavill. So now I went through Cavill, and then we got. Paylob, Paylob steals tokens. He does, out of both arcs at range one to two, zero to two. There you go. Yeah. And he's got multi crow, which allows him to keep those tokens. He does, up to two of them each turn, and then he can um, also uh, add get, he adds the three die primary at the yeah. front. Yeah. Boom, there we go. There's multi crow on the Annoyingly enough, if you're playing a scum list and you need the multi crow title, you do in fact need to buy the rebel conversion kit. It happens. <laughs> and now Forlom's really interesting. He's got a strip down Forlom here, but Forlom says uh, that he can pass off. Right after you execute a red maneuver, you get a calculate token. It's one of the very few and you can ways. Give them away. Yes, exactly. It's one of the very few ways that you can actually cheat um, advanced sensors. Mm -hmm. You're not sorry. I shouldn't say that you're cheating it. You're 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 getting around it. Because if you wouldn't mind, Victor, throwing advanced sensors up for me one more again. Really, really interesting thing about advanced sensors on lots of chassis is it breaks away a lot of the things in the game. So. If you're a phantom, uh, you know you lose your ability to take actions later. If you're a defender and you advance sensors, you don't get your free evade token action when you uh, when you do a three or faster mover. But because Forlom says uh, after you perform a red maneuver, you just get a red, you just get a, a calculate token. It's a fantastic way to offer some stress control because you've got the range one bubble of that medium based ship there. And then at the end of the combat phase, if you don't like where you are for a blue the following turn, you can be like, you know what? I got a friendly ship right here. I'll give him a blue. I'll give him a stress. Uh, or you know what? Hey, uh, Mr. Defender, you can have a you can have a stress too. Yeah. And then the, the Jakku gun runner there, nice and uh, nude, just uh, being his own lonesome self. Yeah, I got I got to tell you the way that Evan has spread his ships out on the on the top of the board there makes me extremely nervous for. Uh, for Sumit's two aces there. I feel like if Sumit doesn't uh, turn Whisper, like probably a three-turn left this turn and hide behind that rock, that she's going to be in some serious trouble the following turn because uh, where that Gunrunner is right now, there's almost nowhere that... Uh, I guess that's not true. Whisper could go up and then decloak behind the rock, maybe? 
Now, I sort of expected this maneuver in here from Rexler, and he's going to tear into something this turn. He gets that evade, and is he going to focus? No, yeah, there we go. Sumit sporting those very custom one-of-a-kind templates he ordered from the interweb. I don't know. And to I'm any of our loyal viewers, just keep in mind that within the next few weeks, uh, we are going to be doing a run, a production run of PTL templates. They make Absolutely. a great, they make a great Christmas present. And if you need any more information on that, contact our fearless leader, Mr. Devin here. You can find me on Facebook or, or any dark corner. Unless it's date night with the wife, then you won't find him. I mean, I mean, we shouldn't find him. It should be incommunicado. Otherwise, the wife would be uh, not liking that too much. No, 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 no. Oh. Tim playing with our new Madden lines. I got to tell you, it took me about eight, eight and a half seconds to want to play with that thing. Telestrator, our Telestrator. 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 You ever play Telestrations? Uh, is that like Pictionary? Yeah, but Broken Telephone Pictionary. Oh. Super fun. And we'll, uh, we'll get drunk and play it. I was going to say, I may, I may have played it. There may have been whiskey involved. All right, here we go. Whisper uh, looks like it's shooting at the Jakku Gunrunner. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, so where Whisper is, she is... So we're having Vart Darth Vader right now. So okay, yeah. Is, uh... So Vader's going to activate, and Sumit's going to spend the Force token and probably take the damage. She's going to yeah. take the damage on the Jakku Gunrunner. Jakku Gunrunner down to four. And it looks like Sumit's ships are going to take shots from at least... Two, if not three. It's going to be interesting to see if Palob's out of range. Uh, but Sumit's going to shoot first. The I-5s have got range to the Y-Wing, and it looks like probably just both of them shooting at the Y-Wing. Remember, folks, strategy number one in X-Wing is what? Don't split your fire. Always try to shoot as many ships as you can at the same target. Well, Sumit's got two shots on the Jakku Gunrunner. I think and the Jakku Gunrunner might be out of Arc of Duchess, my man. Yeah, that's why I said he had two shots, so oh, Whisper and, and Rexler. I think that there's a very slim chance that Rexler has range to Cavill. Yeah, so shooting a Cavill? But if that's all. He's a nice big fat target that two shots. Evan clearly wants to spend some time with. Just doing it. Cavill losing both shields. Shields down on Cavill. And, and then Evan's gorgeous painted uh, shield tokens there. Gotta love it. Made those uh, dimes look, uh, look nice. Whisper taking her free evade token. She is out of range of the Moldy Crow. Oof. Duchess is out of range. Dust is going to check range to the Y wing. Are you going to check Duchess range has to got the Y wing? Nothing. No shot. Duchess out of range of everybody. Rexler's got range three to four long. I'm going to take a shot there. Spend the yeah, focus. He's got it. Hit double or hit Can't hit crit. Keep it. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, I mean, four long got a lot of shields just for that reason. Well, see, Evan's first variant of. Uh, this list had elusive on Forlong because it's a great mix because you're always doing red maneuvers to recharge that elusive um, uh, charge token. Proton oh. torpedo shot coming here. That must be on Whisper. That's where the target locks are. Yep. So we got two hits, two crits. I believe they refer that to socks and sandals, but it's okay. Socks and sandals? Yeah, it's two littles and sets of two. It's the only thing you like seeing less than socks and sandals is two hits and two crits, right? All right. Yeah. Well, how about four crits? I mean, it, it's just kind of like a novelty at that point. That's not what Whisper wants to see. Uh, you she does have two evade tokens, so she could no, actually... No, don't, don't submit, and he did. Well, I mean, Whisper decloaking next turn. I guess the decloak would have helped him avoid the rock, though. Yeah. It also gets him out of the Jakku. You can decloak away from the Jakku Gunrunner. True. Then you'd be behind the rock anyway. Well, now he's going to be on the rock. Right, yeah, but I guess what I'm saying is like tootle forward and put Whisper on a rock now. Two yeah, eggs from the Moldy Crow. Ouch. No, this, this, must, this must be from the, the Gun Runner. Must That's, be, yeah, two dice. Two damage on Whisper. Yeah. Oh, that is not nice. Whisper sitting with one health left. Well, that's fair. He doesn't spend that. He dies there. So, as we know, there's a tidal wave of sympathy erupting over the internet as we speak for all, all the phantom violence that's happening right now. Nobody ever wants to see people shoot at a phantom, do they, Devin? I mean, everyone wants to shoot at phantoms. I mean, knock them out of the sky. Choke and cloak. I mean, he he did cloak, and then he did choke. And then he juked. Oh, yeah. And then he got a free evade. And then everybody shot at him, and he rolled all blanks. 
I mean, that's uh, what New Whisper does. That's cam- it's karma, man. It's Whisper. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Smeet putting his reminder for us back up there. Okay, so Force recharges. Rexler's still in a fantastic position to keep the onslaught on. Now, let me clarify with uh, with Victor. This, is this our table one, the top table? Both these guys are undefeated right now? Yeah. Okay, great. So these, these guys are both 2-0 right now. Well, I mean, I got to tell you that I'm absolutely blabbergasted at the amount of damage that got traded on that first turn uh, Sumit, or by Sumit and Evan, I should say, because you've got... Okay, Whisper had three tokens, and yeah. you still got four damage through. Uh, Sumit only had gun, two the shots. Runner, the Gunrunner rolled real well. Right, and Sumit only had two shots, and he, and he maxed damage out yeah. on both of them. So it's like, I think both our players' green dice were for decoration on the last turn there, Devin. Aren't, aren't they always for decoration? <laughs> You know, we should, we should, you know, while our players are planning their dials, we should go through that. You know, this book's, I don't know if anybody's familiar with the PTL, but we have a really great uh, ritual, I should say, for ensuring that green dice behave in the game. It's very simple. What you do is that on the day of the event, um, when you rock up to the game store, mm-hmm. before you go in, okay. you just want to have a few minutes alone right. with, with your dice, all right? Talk about the day. Okay? Yeah. So you take your dice out of your bag, you spread them this out. Sounds, this sounds like a Tim ritual. Oh, it is. You, you spread them out in front of you, preferably on the ground or right. maybe a table, like a picnic sure. table or something like that, before you go in. And then what you do is you take a hammer and you bash the crap out of one of the dice in front of all of the other dice. I have done this for and a long time. Let, let that be a lesson to all of you before yes. we go in there. It's like when yeah. your mother used to do it before you went to uh, Toys R Us. She'd smack one of your brothers and say, listen, that's putting one in the bank so all of you know, right? Okay, let's, let's, let's do business. it. I mean business. You got to listen over inside. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> oh, Evan's got a plan for next round. He's also got a lot of really good blue uh, post-advanced sensor options with, uh, with Forlong here. He can barrel roll in either direction. With the new medium based barrel roll, which is just positively bomb. Also got a lot of really great red options. It's very true. It's very, very true. Because he could do. Um, it's a great thing about Forlom is you, you program in a red 4K. And then before you reveal your dial, if you don't like where the 4K is going to end up, you'd be like, okay, I'll barrel roll and reveal a red and just take the white two straight. Because the barrel roll is red. Correct. Uh, I see. I thought Miss Hunter made it white. Uh, so I thought Miss Hunter, Hunter, I think Miss Hunter was just you get a cannon slot. Uh, I may be Oh, wrong. it's the one point? No, there you go. Boom. Oh, white barrel roll. Yeah, I am right. Oh. Apologies. You you admitted to being right, even though you were wrong, and then you apologized. I do. I'm too Canadian for my own good. All right. Sorry. I don't know, Smeet, make up your mind. You shouldn't have... Uh, well, I, I, I'll I, say... I mean, he spends that, that evade once or twice, but... Like, well, uh, we all love Smeet, but respectfully, the decision he should be contemplating right now is who does Whisper want to shoot at before she dies? Right. And the answer and is does, probably and Cavill. Who, and who does he choke? Correct. Well, the answer to both those questions should be Cavill, if you ask me. Smeet gets to move first, so... He's got to avoid the Moldy Crow and the um, and the and the Jakku Gunrunner. And but. he has to assume he's going to be on a rock. Uh, yeah. So but how do you not do that? Because if you force the meat to fly over a rock, then it's 50-50. Mm-hmm. He goes kabloom, kablawi, kablam, and just dies. There is a very slim chance that his one turn right keeps him off of that rock. A very slim chance, but a chance. Leaving him with Ark on the crow. In range one. Hmm? In range one of Jakku Grunrunner. Like, sitting right in front of it. Because if that one heart doesn't clear, he's sitting on that rock. No, that's what I'm trying to say, is the one heart will probably bump the, the Jakku Gunrunner unquestionably. The, the thing I think is that the, the manner in which uh, Whisper would come down on top of that incomplete one turn, yeah. her left... Uh, her ship left base side would probably not clip the rock, I'm guessing. Producer Travis throwing up advanced sensors as we've got advanced sensors for alarm barrel rolling. Travis is at home in bed, buddy. we got Victor. In fact, I don't uh, believe they could look any more different. Uh, listen, uh, and then Forlom has now stopped. 
And we've got uh, Aileron up top. So from Forlom there. gets his free calculate because the stop is indeed a red maneuver. Yeah. Lovely little Aileron one turn from the Duchess there. The favorite striker maneuver. Correct. That no one is ever actually really sure where it'll... It's yeah. always infinitesimally different, and you're always on a... Just you're you're always going to be like a millimeter under a rock whenever you do it. It is infuriating sometimes. Very true. We're going to see what Sumit's decided to do. So Sumit has revealed a three bank. A three bank. Okay. So they're going to proxy the gun runner. So Sumit knew he was going to be where he is now. The real question is, does he hit the rock? All right. Evans holding the rock. Looks like we've got no contact there. Sumit making it out by the hair on his... No, nope. they are going to... Okay, he's going to roll in it. Oh, she's dead. Nah. Flips the bird to the rock, and off they go. Okay, so Evan up 70 uh, nothing early after that was 20 rough. minutes. Hard three here from Rexler. Rexler gonna, looking for some revenge. Revenge. Rexler going to park right in front of the Mist Hunter here. Uh, he could do a little boosty boost, get a, get get going, and uh, make it in around. I mean, the boost would guarantee he gets arc on Cavill, but uh, Duchess is going to have a really nice shot on Cavill this turn. No reason to get greedy. Wants to make sure that the Miss Hunter doesn't, in fact, get uh, too much. I mean, damage into him. He just lost Whisper. He can be a little greedy. Well, the other thing to keep in mind, of course, Dev, is that uh, Rexler with that boost you were talking about, would have gotten out of Forlom's <laughs> stress bubble. Yeah, range. exactly. So, um, I mean, Sumit's going to be able to survive the shot from Forlom here, unless yeah. Forlom rolls three hits in, a, in an eyeball. It's like Cavill's target lock, Duchess, and I think Duchess is going to eat a proton mm, torpedo. Delicious proton. The question is, does Rexler have arc on Cavill? That's a sexy ice cream sandwich, the proton torpedo. Um, no, 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 no. You don't like ice cream sandwiches? Okay, we got Sumit shooting three dice here. Looks Whoa. like he's going to spend that focus. Yeah. And he's going to full mod that one. Nothing from the Moldy Crow. So that was Duchess on the Crow. One damage going in. Paylob at half health. Sumit on Ooh. the board with 25 points. That's great. Not a bad shot That's at exactly all. exactly what he needed there. Yeah, it is true. I he's mean, about, like it, he's I about mean, to now get half health on Cavill, too, so... Well, Duchess now has no tokens, and it's going to be proton torpedoed, but we'll see. Rexler also on Paylop, yeah. And do you Sumit spend considering it? considering the focus spend. Don't do it, Sumit. Do it. Don't do it. Do it. Don't do it, Do Sumit. it. Do it. And he did not, and... No, uh, wouldn't have mattered either way. Wouldn't have mattered. Sad panda. Oh. Well, we're having fun with the new uh, Telestrator. I wish I had known I would have brought my stylus. Yeah. I we were talking about that. that. Mm. Yeah, I have a few of them from you work. You have a personalized stylus? It's, uh... I do, actually. I have Trajectory Beverage Partner Styluses at work. It's oh, true. Excellent. Yeah. I miss what this attack is. I'm assuming it's the Proton Torpedo. Didn't I say it was... Uh, yeah. Spend the focus. Dutch is taking two hits and a crit here. Yep, that's not that's not great. Hits, hit, hits, hit. and it's blinded pilot. Okay, so she's still alive uh, because nobody else has arc on her. I can just see by the way Sumit's throwing his cards around. He's very dejected. Tilt meet? Yeah, he's he's good. He's having fun. Okay. Oh, he's like me. When when you see a checkmate in ten, ten moves. Because you're a very good player, it's it's kind of a blessing and a curse. You can see that many moves ahead. You can also see when you're completely doomed. So, I don't think he's doomed. I think Rexler has his work cut out for him here. I think that uh, it would not be the first time that a defender soloed a whole list, uh, particularly a list I might add where Cavill has now spent uh, both of his proton torpedoes. Sure, but he's got reload. <coughs> Pardon? He's got reload. He does have red reload. It's true. Okay, so Forlom getting that in. Sumit's uh, just spending the evade token. Hard no to Forlom there. I'm just and there and there's the uh, there's the salt. You mean the paprika shaker? The paprika. Paprika. Is it I, cumin? I do love paprika. You like paprika? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
What about coriander? No, not a fan. No, no. Ah, uh, I'm surprised that just lived. Um, but that is uh, one that of is the, what, that is what proton torpedoes do. This is one of the likely outcomes. I mean, uh, I think Sumit's in a pretty tough spot. Um, I, 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 I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm flab flabbergasted. Well, I mean, let's talk about Forlom's options here. Forlom probably doesn't want to do anything other than a one straight here, which is okay. I mean, he's not going to get the free calculate, but he just does a one forward calculate. You can also stop again. <laughs> Pardon me, on there. Oh, yeah, I completely agree with you. You could just stop, but if he stops, he's into range two. Then, oh, now Devin's yawning. Yawns are the yawn. Sorry about that. He can advance into his barrel roll and then do a a three bank, which is red, in front of uh, Rexler. But you see, Rexler's blue here is the one bank. Rexler has to take the one sure. bank blue, here. and then Rexler bumps into him, and then he passes him another stress. But a, a, a an advanced sensor's barrel roll followed up by a three bank. Is the three bank red on yeah. the Mist Hunter dial? Yes. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right? I don't know. Yeah. So then he barrel rolls, does the red maneuver, three bank, puts him in front of uh, Rexler, bumps that, that, that bank maneuver, stopping him from getting his action economy going. Um, if if Samik goes quickly, then he's going to be at range one. Where's the pencil? We don't know. We don't pencil. What are you doing? You can draw with your fingers. I know you can draw with your fingers, but the eraser works too. No, but we're not going to do that to, to Travis's brand new monitor. Fair enough. Travis is probably, uh, if this were live, Travis would be at home listening going, oh my God, why did you get those guys? I don't know. Right. So I'm suggesting a, a barrel roll here and then a three bank puts him here-ish, right? Right. And then Rexler's one bank bumps into the back of him. My my point is that the but only the other option is a three forward, right? And right, then, exactly. And then a barrel roll or or a well, the two forwards blue as well, but the three forward will clear it, and then he can maybe barrel roll here. The the thing that I'm noticing that's kind of confusing is that I mean, Cavill has the two turn that's blue. It's blue. That has the two turn that's blue. That thing can sloop here. It but, can also go backwards to block. Yeah, that's, I think, what the right move is here. That's what I'm trying to say, is that I think that if um, if Forlom just has the one forward and, and calculate, or the one forward right. and target lock, you can block Rexler with the, with the quad jumper and get three, four guns on Rexler this turn and make or, him... Uh, think or even a bank it. maneuver would work out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just worried with the one forward, and just because we're always at an odd angle here, um, casting, about, the, uh, about Forlom actually ending up on the rock if he does the one forward. Yeah. It is true. Oh, I should have bought a Gatorade down. I mean, uh, we just ate. That's why I, you had a, you had a little chocolate milk, a little yum yum yum, a little yum, yum, yum. Canadian dairy. Canadian dairy, it's true. Yeah. Currently still on the shelves at, uh, at at grocery stores. This is uh, who are we waiting on? No one. All the dials are down. I think what we're waiting on is. Um, Rexler's dial. It's there, it's set, but I think Sumit's still considering it. We have a uh, long vision across the end of the, the room to... There we oh, go. Oh, they're ready to go. Okay, so the Jakku Gunrunner are going to do the two. Probably going to tractor beam Duchess all over the damn place here. I hear it reduces your agility. I hear so as well. I don't know if pushing her to the board edge is the right move, though. Right? I think at this point, I'm not sure if Evan cares where Duchess is. I don't think she can do enough damage, and he's got enough arcs that are mobile floating around that he can just yeah, kill her at will. Well, I mean, just a red stop from Palop this turn is not a bad move either, because you're completely no. blocking Duchess, right? That was, in fact, my... Oh, yeah. He's going to try to beam him. Does it clear? It looks like it might clear. I'd say maybe. This so is when you put your hands up and call a judge, folks. True. They're going to take a look at it right now. Judge. They're, they're going to decide to mark Palob and get him out of there and see what we can do. 
Okay, so we're going to try Duchess in the 1-4 tractor beam position. Try and fit the Moldy Crow in behind her. And it looks yep. like we are golden. Interesting. I wonder if that's where Sumit thought he'd be. But also, Duchess is such a squirrely ship. Well, that's what I mean. I don't really understand, right? Because if Duchess had a one-turn programmed in here, it's kind of ideal. She'll get to shoot. I guess Paylob will get to shoot her, too, though. Right, she'll take the one turn. Okay, so... Advanced sensors, target lock, stop, calculate. Kind of good. Have uh, have I told you that double mods are good in X-Wing? At least the hard two from Paylob, which uh, you called. Okay, uh, just a little nick of cavalry, there, no problem. All right, so Paylob going to decide... Whoa. Yeah, yeah, you're Sorry tired for some reason there, Tim. It is Sunday. So you should have slept a lot last night. Hi, uh, welcome to being a father. Uh, you stop sleeping. Oh, you have, a, you have a little girl. I do, a beautiful yeah. little baby girl. Don't get any ideas. And she uh, wakes you up a lot. She does wake you up a lot, yes. Right. She, did you know that babies wake you up in the night? Fun is, fact. Is that how they work? <laughs> All right, what are we doing here with Paylob? Evan's deciding his action for Paylob. Focus. Right? We're gonna I focus. mean, he's, he doesn't have any tricksy stuff like Debris Gambit or, or anything like that, so he's just going to focus, have a useful thing, and um, looks like Smeet is going to Aileron and then Sloop or do a hard one, or what are we, what are we, what are we doing? Hard one. So now he, that may have Arc Dodged. Paylob's dorsal turret, or no, he's got a primary turret. Paylob's is it, it is a dorsal turret. It's a two die turret. Right. Yeah. Um, so he, but it goes to range three. It does go to range three. Okay. So, so he has not arcade. Uh, I, I don't think he's ranged. Uh, I don't think he's out of range. No. I think but we're at, we're at an actual dorsal turret. Like what, what is on Cavill, that would be limited to range two. It would have no range three shot. Right. But since Paylob has a primary yeah. value of two, he gets to shoot out the side. Yeah. And then here's some meat barrel rolling to try and like completely arc dodge. Well, I mean, your your options were to either uh, barrel roll and guarantee you're not getting shot to do the one turn the following turn, or just uh, take an evade. There's the one Banky called. That's great. It's the only blue that he's got that's not free, right? Well, I'm sorry, he's only blue that's not a straight. Right. Right. Target lock. That is the correct action when you are in range two of Paylob. And now it'll be interesting to see if Cavill rotates his uh, little archipoo there. Just moving it around uh, to follow up with the hand solo Sup engagement. Well, super annoying position uh, for Evan to be in here because if he opts to rotate yeah. the arc backwards, then he'll have to rotate it again next turn. That's what he's doing. And if he had rotated the arc to starboard, I don't think he would have had a shot. Right. Uh, he might have. Very, very close. Let's, let's, let's try and be in... I don't think it's very straight. That is one of the more crooked lines I've ever seen in my life. Oof. Range. Evan, range three. Range three? Duchess so, on Forlom. No mods. And one hit. And cleanly evaded. That's with that calculate token. Oh, no, he's, he's, gonna taking, take it. he's taking last he's gonna, shield on four long. He's going to opt to do that for a good reason. He wants a, a double-modded shot on Rexler. Rexler has no tokens. Okay, so Rexler going four dice with target lock into Paylob. Going to need that target lock oh, pretty Samit. desperately. Oh, here. Samit. Samit uh, employing the powers of the dark side unsuccessfully. Two hits. Going through. Paylob dies. Rexler is one lucky ducky. Ooh. Any paint on those dice, and Paylob would have made it. That's a dead duck. Did you know that defenders are capable of soloing an entire list? I, I, I did. <laughs> okay, Han Gunner triggering out of range for... No, in range. Yeah, so he's going to shoot... Going to take the Duchess Rexler. shot. Okay. Oh, Duchess shot. Going to take the Duchess shot for Is the kill. Is it range two? No. Oh. No, it's out. You can't shoot her. Well, he's got range to Duchess. We just saw the ruler down there. No, it has to be in range two. Oh, correct. Yeah, the dorsal turret's only range two. My bad. Sorry. I misunderstood. So he's going to shoot. 
Extra die because he's uh, cavil. Because he's cavil. Hit crit. Sad panda. Drexler taking two shields. Oh, Smeek can't be happy about that. No, the good news is is uh, Sumit's going to take some bloodied stuff this uh, this turn, but uh, the main um, oh there's yeah, yeah target three. lock that, for that's three. That's why you have those double mods, right? That's why you took that shield damage, hit crit going through. Rexler's shields are down. That's that's uh, it's a rough round for for Sumit. Well, it isn't. It isn't, Deb. You got to remember the most threatening piece on the board for Sumit was Pelob, because as long as Pelob exists, that free evade is useless. Right. Or it comes over and hangs out with Pelob. True. I mean, now is, he's got... Which is detrimental to you. True. So now he's got a, a, a Jakku gunrunner, which is going to be unable to block any of Rexler's um, moves. I think the real brilliance here is that Evan put K uh, Cavill right in the perfect spot to block the 4K. And Sumit moves first. Yep. So Evan uh, showcasing some of his uh, long game uh, thought process. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Forlom definitely out of range to pass that uh, that stress token away, but We'll probably see a blue run forward from him and a, a target lock afterwards. I think that'll be all right. Forlom says you have to fully execute the red maneuver, right? You can't just yeah. plug it in and take do a white. And Correct. Like that. Well, we can throw uh, Forlom back up on the map here. And just uh, have a look at Forlom. He's definitely been doing his, his fair share of the work uh, this afternoon. Well, you were saying Evan's got a love affair with him, and, he, and we know, at least locally, that that's quite a good ship. This is a pretty important turn for where Sumit needs to go. He's still in this game. I mean, he's got um, a damaged Forlom, a damaged Cavill. A Rexler Brath on one health can take one of those two ships in the Gunrunner yeah. uh, into the late game. Plus, if, if Sumit pops that ju that Jakku Gunrunner this turn, then he's really in this game still. So I thought maybe while our, our, uh, our players are setting their dials, uh, Dev, we might take a moment and uh, and talk about our good friends at, uh, at VWTV Live and what they've been up to recently and what we can expect from them uh, in the future in 2019. What do you think? Yeah, well, I know um, some of the next things we've probably got coming up with them is we've got uh, the Season 12 Finals in January. I don't know if you guys have any plans over, over Christmas. What are some of your upcoming videos you've got? Well, don't forget, folks, to tune in to VWCV Live uh, next weekend because they're going to be co-hosting the Gold Squadron stream from PAX Unplugged next weekend. They'll be – you guys are restreaming it, right? Right, yeah, because you, you and Gold Squadron always use their, yeah, Gold Squadron podcast and VWTV Live are uh, collaborative uh, casters across the border. They always, if one of them's streaming, the other one co-streams it. So whether you tune into GSP or you tune into uh, VWTV Live next weekend, you'll be able to get some PAX content uh, from the very first 2.0 uh, system open series. I can't of the, wait. Uh, the thing. Speaking of first, in February, we'll be, uh, we'll be at the... Um System open in Toronto. The very first Canadian system open. Exciting. February. Very much looking forward to that. I don't know yet, Tim, if I want to judge, my money's on cast the, or play. <laughs> it's a tough call. Judge, cast, or play. Because like, all of those are options for me. Is that like, uh, what is that? Uh, kiss, marry, and uh, screw, marry, kill? Screw, screw, marry, kill, yeah. Let's not swear on stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. Slip into my DMs. Tell me what you think I should do. But uh, I think a lot of it will depend on the format that's coming out, um, how the hyperspace is going to work, how the point through adjustments are going to work, uh, you know, what the ban lists look like in terms of the competitive play. So well, certainly folks, that's going to affect uh, how I play, what I play, if I'm interested in playing, whether I want to be judging, or uh, spending, you know, two full days yammering away, talking to you lovely people. Just not, not that horrible ya app what? Yammer, which is like a, a, a private company Facebook. It's a long story. What? There is. There's actually a, an app you can buy. It's called Yammer. It's kind of like if your corporation bans Facebook, but you want people to have a social media platform to share photos and stuff like that, you can buy this app called Yammer. No, I'm out. <laughs> All right, here we go. Is it, What are we going to get from the Jacku? Jacku's doing the beep, 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 beep. Back the truck up. All right, fair enough. Yeah. The final thought, folks, I just wanted to say um, 
after you get a chance to watch this video on YouTube, which is where majority of the VWTV Live content ends up, don't forget on your way to clicking that subscribe button so that you're notified when VWTV Live uh, videos hit the internet, don't forget to leave a comment uh, on the YouTube video with a vote about whether Devin should play, <laughs> cast, or judge the first Canadian System Open uh, event yeah. in February. Yeah. Likes and subscribes and comments always help us uh, get our, our content further out into the internet and more importantly attract new players because Absolutely. when new players watch these videos, they learn a little bit about the game, they all want to come out to new game stores and some immediate, some of our uh, kooky characters. And if you are so inclined, feel free to mosey over to Patreon, VWCV Live are always appreciative of their fans and, uh, and uh, supporters from all over the world. Uh, uh, encouraging them to make investments in their infrastructure, like this lovely uh, teleprompter with uh, a wonderful option for Chelsea Blue, which we're going to go there. Yeah, Chelsea Blue, gotta love it. Uh, yeah, I tell uh, the Telestrator is fantastic, tons of fun, and uh, I can just delete. No, <laughs> I've locked it. Got him. I did it with the dark side. <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, uh, so that's not how. Oh. Yes, of course, because the Mist Hunter has a jam action, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so Sumit thought about a one bank and then decided to yeah. do the, uh, the, the I don't know the what they've burn. done. But we're flying casually today. First it's rule just, of PCL, uh, fly casual. Fly casual, boys. Yeah. Oh, I think... Uh, I think... Um, Unless you're a PCL guy playing Assault Squadron guy, then it's all business. Okay? I think Sumit... I think uh, Evan threw down the wrong template. I think you're right. Yeah, I think he's dead. I mean, they're, uh, it's up right. I, be I believe it. We all, so, knew, we all knew the Duchess was going to get on four lines. A six jam token Samit needs to, is now removed when Samit gets his, uh, his free of 80, his wiggly there. His free wiggly. His free uh, wiggly woo. I really like this position that uh, Cavill's in here because if Cavill... Um, Cavill's going to get an, pretty much an uncontested shot on, uh, on Rexler here. Yeah, he's just doing a very casual one forward. Going to obtain rear arc and probably just uh, target lock and take the Han Gunner. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I foresee pain, suffering in, uh, in Rex Lebrass' future here. Well, we've already seen hate from Samit, so everything hate else is, is coming. strong. Okay, Dutch is going to take three shots, two hits, no mods. I like it. Great. Takes right. one. Takes one. So Pop four long down to half health. Hey. You know, that's another 30 points for Sumit. Sumit on the board with, uh, looks like, uh, 80 points. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. You know, here comes uh, Rexler. It's not what Sumit wants to see. Oh. Those one die evades are such disrespect. I love it. Ugh. I love everything about it. Well, here we go. Here's the Han Gunner focus. And we've so got... Cavill doing a four die... Cavill, Dorsal Primate, taking a TL. Oh, four four damage. big hits. Sumit needs to roll all paint here to live. Well, he's got three He's got three, da three haul on. He needs to roll three, hit, three paint here to live, Devin. That's close. He'll take it. One damage going through. Yeah. We're going to see if the Gunrunner gets the glory here, folks. Gunrunner's got a range one, no mods, no Nothing. hits. Nothing. Nothing. Well, that's what happens when you don't have mods. That is what Sumit needed there, folks, because you know what it's time for right now? Is it Rexler time? It's prime time for white 4K time. We're going to see that Jakku Gunrunner probably try and take a three bank to get behind Rexler, come about, and continue the onslaught on Duchess. Um, Rexler going to be able to 4K and either stay put or barrel roll downboard to keep Arc on Cavill or block him. Um... I don't see Forlom getting into the fight, or at least getting range on um, on Rexler this turn. But um, Forlom is completely prime set for a 4K. He can advance sensors, target lock, 4K, get his calculate token, and probably finish off Duchess here because Duchess can go for five straight, which is aileron one and then three straight, and she'll probably be just slightly ahead of where Forlom is now. My guess is probably with a range one on four alarm, but the chances of Duchess rolling four hits uh, and killing four alarm before he shoots are slim to none. 
Um, but even if he dumps three damage with Duchess into Forlom next turn, right? I mean, tell me if I'm crazy, Dev. Right? If Forlom goes here, right? And then Duchess would probably end up with a five straight, what? Like maybe there? Sure. Right? To me, that looks like range one. Eh. So Duchess is probably going to get a chance to do some decent damage on Forlom. If he, if she can get him down to one well, health. If we get advanced sensors going, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose a scummy green color. And we got a little barrel roll here. We reposition Forlom up here. Then he can do some form of maneuver in this direction to come after the 4K, right? And then Evan's ships are moving before Sumit. Sumit moves first. Sumit is player one. A hard one here, and like a longer move, like a three hard, might uh, might get uh, get Cavill where he needs to go. You know what? You, you you definitely bring up a very good point. I definitely didn't see that to start. Just stay stressed and just. Like well, the question is, would out. that would that one turn block the four K at this point? I don't think so. It's pretty damn close. But when pretty darn uh, close, I should say. Shoot. You know, if, if mustard. Well, we've got resistance and first order coming. Can't wait. And if prime thrusters survived intact. You my boy, midnight. And I forget they were all. You my boy. They're all leaked in Polish, so I don't know what they do. Chish. I can't pronounce Polish. I'm not even gonna try. Don't. They really hate it when 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 people <laughs> try to do it. They like, can't do it. <laughs> Although it is kind of hilarious, like, trying to hear a Polish guy pronounce the word Monkhouse, because it, it comes out like, you know, like Hendrix sometimes. <laughs> it, did, it did happen at Coruscant, but I can't remember what. Um, I, I enjoyed speaking to all the Poles. By the way, have I thanked you on the internet yet for making the 32-hour round-trip drive to drive to Minnesota to cast a board game tournament with me? Uh, you know, no, you haven't. No, well, I would like to because well, thank you, sir. you and I uh, had a, a blast of a time. And, and we didn't fall asleep on the floor despite driving for 17 hours. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. So point yeah, us. Yeah, point, point us. Yeah, for sure. I mean, like, um, we're not an internet meme, but. Uh, well, I mean, the chances of me making it back to the uh, the newly formed and designed Coruscant Invitational this year, based on how many tournaments I'm going to be able to make it out to, I don't know. Zero. It's going to be tough, man. It's I mean, fun. We got two system opens to play with, and uh, we have a wave three, three, three. You got true. the one in Philly in November. True. We got Toronto in February, and, and we got Chicago in That's March. That's true. And we're gonna we're gonna get something together for Chicago. We in March. We should probably call that out right now. You know, folks, we're so okay. The Armada National Champion World, World Champion Championships. World Championships. World Championships of Armada. Are happening in Chicago this year at Adepticon. Boom. That's four. That's four asses in the bus. As everybody knows, the only Armada players in the world that are good come and, from Canada. And Victor's going to come. And, and Victor's coming from. Right. I don't know who Brendan McLeod is. Okay. He's done that no, wonderful. Yeah, so you're going to come too, right? We're, we're, we're going to drag you with us. So as a result, Kicking screaming, we're going to drag VTTV live to Chicago. As a result of the best Armada players in the world, who are Canadian, going to our Adepticon. It's the on streaming X Wing. He's not going to stream Armada. I think you would probably have to pay Dion a considerable more amount of money than he actually wanted to stream Armada. I'm fairly <laughs> confident that if he streamed Armada, he would fall asleep before the game is over. It'd blow his mind. And when you say a lot of people were upset, how many fingers on one hand? Okay. Uh, yeah. I, I was involved in a milling accident, and I've only got two fingers on the one hand. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, long story short, folks, um, it looks very probable that the Armada guys from Toronto, as well as anybody who hears my voice, um, is welcome to be a part of, really a, loud. of a, of a caravan we're going to put together to try and get from... I want a bus. Toronto to... to want a bus. You want a bus? Well, all we need is we need 26 people. Yeah. For critical mass on a bus. You know what? We're gonna try and get Sam. We're gonna try and get Alex. We're gonna try and get some of the wives on board. If you get, if you get, they get to go wives, to Chicago. Exactly. If you get four wives and eight Armada players, then you need like ten X-wing players. Yeah, we're in. That sounds great. Yeah. So anybody who hears us, you have between now and March when Adepticon is scheduled. I believe it's the week after uh, March break. Yeah. 
No, it's last weekend in March. Last weekend in March. Okay, perfect. So it's after Thanksgiving. Sorry, it's after March break. It's after St. Patrick's Day. It's after Breakout Con. It's after Breakout Con, which shockingly for some reason is happening at the Sheridan again this year. We won't get into We're that. the next wing tournament. Holy moly. Details to follow, folks. Details to follow. There is going to be a tournament there? Uh, well, they've asked me to do it. Oh, they've asked you to do it. Yeah. Okay, and you're going to consider it heavily? I've told them they need a hyperspace trial. That's factually accurate. Okay. Yeah. In order to hit the $50 price point that they'd like. Of course, because it's at the Sheridan, which is like the th third most expensive venue in Toronto. Yeah. Behind the Roy York Hotel and Casa Loma. Right. Right. Yeah. So it goes, the oldest hotel in the country that the Queen stays at. Yeah. A friggin' castle on a hill. Yeah. And then the place that Breakout Con wants to hold a gaming tournament. They've got like an indoor garden there right across the street from t Town Hall. Like, it's a nice place. Oh, I'm not. Uh, that's the whole point of the conversation. It's okay. it's a very nice place. <laughs> do board games? Do board game conventions need to happen at nice places? Yeah, uh, I I don't think that they need to happen at places where, um, like they they close down half the hotel during TIFF because of, that's where all the celebrities stay. Like to me, there's a, to me there's a long range between like Sumit's basement. And, and the Sheridan, that you can find a happy ground for Breakout Con in that, in that range fair. somewhere, right? Well, Samit's in the process of uh, deciding whether or not to remortgage his house in the middle of an X-Wing game. Because uh, we both basically called the 4K, and he's well. Aaron, five minutes Aaron's right here. Judge, will you go down and DQ Samit? Slow play, man. Just, like, <laughs> brutal. Oh, they're okay. So Evan's helping Sumit decide his moves. That's not that's not jaded or, or, uh, that's, uh, or biased that's at all. Fly casual. <laughs> uh, it's a, that there's a bumpy bump. Looks like it. And uh, Evan using his uh, no, Ontario like templates that he got at the PTL Open. I like it. It clears the stress. It might give the Jakku uh, arc on Duchess, depending on how fast she went. So yeah. So uh, for the top four at the PTL Open, they got. Uh, a mixed set of Ontario templates. So they got Salt Squadron. They got PTL. Gonk. They got Gonk. Ewok. They got, uh, no, no, no Ewok templates. They got... Well, they're uh, made of wood. If you don't know that. Awaka, awaka, awaka. And they got uh, Gonk Squadron templates. Shockingly enough, Corlom, 4K. 2K, I thought. Oh, it was a 2K. Oh, yeah, they had that. My bad. <laughs> Awkward. We all forgot. <laughs> and now Duchess is just sort of trapped. I was gonna say after that 2K, I'm very, uh, I'm very uh, wrong about how close a 4K would have been to that that rock behind Forlorn now. Correct. <laughs> well, he would have been kissing it. Very close. I mean, like kissing cousins close. Not touching that one. <laughs> I don't know what's going on in the Monkhouse clan, but you know, it's too small for kissing cousins. Oh man. <laughs> please, please end my life. Wait, uh, you married you a cousin? Pardon me? You married your cousin? I did not. Oh, no. You sure? Positive. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, so interesting. Ooh, okay, okay. so Samit not ready to uh, to square off hey. with Forlom just yet. Okay. You know what? I'm thinking back to Samit a year ago. He's got Two time. years ago. He's got he time. He like, would all in right there with a focus, trying to kill I'm tell you. Forlom. This is, a, you know, this is a good change. I think there's a pretty good chance that Duchess Planning still has future. arc on Forlom, where she is, too. Forlom is a big base, right? I mean, uh, I like those thick medium bases. They're just like a perfect size. Again, I don't think I'm going to get near that one. <laughs> no, I like uh, when 2.0 came out. I started flying uh, IGD and Igid. 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 Or sorry, IGC with IGD crew on Boba Fett. So I flew two medium bases a lot, and they were. Super fun. Yeah. <laughs> now, can you tell me why... Nope. That's no bueno. Rexler is stressed? Uh, because the 4K is white? Was he stressed before? That's why he's stressed, and they have a red 2K. Defenders are good. Yes. Oh, that'll do it. So he was worried about the 4K getting him off the board, so they checked it for funsies, but he actually executed the two. Okay. Fly casual. No problem. 
Drexler going to get an uninhibited shot on uh, thing here. We got Duchess shooting range two through the rock at Forlom, who's got a calculate token. Duchess rolling hot steaming garbage. Forlom evades. Calculate. He's uh, uses his insect droid brain. Drexler Brath going to take unmodded a shot. Unmodded range one on a Jakku gunrunner. Not bad. Nah, two hits. Sorry. That's about normal. Live with it. Average. One down. Takes damage. One to go. Pew. Okay. No half health on the on the quad just yet, but the main bet of the story Does Evan here, have shots? No. No. Evan, no. Will, Evan might have a four-lom shot on Duchess here. Maybe. No bueno. Okay. You know what? Excellently played by Mr. Vats in yeah. that round. It only took him six and a half hours to get it done. So if it, that's the pace, then unfortunately... You he may that. only get three more turns in. Before well, he's got to he's got to kill stuff. <laughs> That's true. But uh, no, he can't give up. He, he he's no. got he's given up half. He loses health. Duchess. That's absolutely the right move. He loses right. Duchess. The game's over. He needs uh, to get Cavill down. He needs to kill the quad and one of them. The easiest one to kill will probably be Forlom here, because the Jakku gunrunner probably going to go one forward and barrel roll to try and block uh, something, but. Don't forget, Cavill's about to shoot that dorsal turret with Han Gunner, right? He's going to do a two-turn right. He's going to rotate his arc. He's going to have that dorsal turret shot on Rexler. It's probably going to be range two yeah. or range one and worse. So Rexler has to get the F out of Dodge right now. And I'm that little hoping, quad can do the little, he can do a little backup too. It's true. I'm hoping Rexler does the uh, the five. Which is green. All right. Because, no. well, the five is blue. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, if he ends up at the five, he's there. Four, he's there. Three, he's there. Right. So, yeah. If if Forlom does his two turn, then he's probably going to block anything except a three forward, uh, which is awkward. So if 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 Evan uses the quad jumper to block Rexler's slow moves and uses Forlom to block his fast moves, he's going to end up stuck somewhere in the middle. Yeah. I don't with, uh, with Cavill. Being over here with an arc pointed that way. Precisely. And Duchess isn't going to have many options, too. She can one aileron to about there and then two turns. So she's here and she's going to have an arc like that. So. Well, he's going to come down and then in, right? I think he's going to be a little further back. Yeah, it's fair. It's a tough call. It's a tough call this round. Well, Evan looks like he's throwing down all his dials. We got... Uh, oh, my God, a Charmander. Ha, uh, made you look. Oh, great. That's uh, <laughs> a little Pokemon Go happening. He's floating around. Nice to know you're giving your full effort to our streaming uh, I am. audience I'm not alive. Even, I'm not even touching it. <laughs> Until I said there was a Charmander, then you looked at it like you were about to just say, you, you, peace, I'm out. All I heard was you shouting and pointing at my phone, so... I'm not really sure what to what to make of you. Hey, I, I I talk loudly. I don't scream. I have I have used that. Someone told me to stop yelling, and I'm like, I'm just projecting. I'm aware. I know how to project my voice. Somebody if I were yelling, the entire room would hear us. Well, that's what I've said. Like somebody accused me of yelling one time. I said, "Don't be mad at me. The acoustics in here are terrible." I'm in. I know most of the games are wrapped up at this point. Uh, I've only can, we've got uh, almost twenty people here today, and uh, well, some I, of the lists that we have in the room are pretty like quick gameish. Like the Cam Murray's list you saw in the game mm -hmm. before on stream here. Yep, most of his games are over in forty minutes. Have you? Uh, did you make a concerted effort to go and look at all the lists? Well, I did because I was trying to mooch uh, some templates off of one of our members here. So I, I made a concerted effort to go around and uh, you know. Apply them um, with uh, fake uh, compliments on all the list choices. So, I mean, so we have like me. one Rebel player here today. We do. One Rebel one. player. Yes. Indeed. One. Surprisingly, with all the Pinkertons in tow, it is not uh, somebody that contains a, a T-70 X-Wing. Someone should tell them the YT-2400s are good. YT-2400s are good? Yeah, I think you, you discovered this at Coruscant, correct? How this, good this Dash is? factually inaccurate. Is da it? Dash is not good. Fun fact of the day. <laughs> Uh, All right, so we didn't get a block from the quad jumper, but 
We got him in Ark so he can throw naked dice, which are often as good as no dice. Did you know that quad jumpers are good? And throw two yeah. dice is good. Yeah. I did not expect the one bank from Forlom. I thought for sure we would get the two turn. Well, it gives him a nice wide arc, sort of like gets him around, gets him, lets him decide what to do. Well, he, can't, he can't use jam. Of no, course. he's considering a barrier, barrel roll here. If he barrel rolls, he'll... A barrel roll. Because of the rock? I think he probably has the room if he goes barrel roll all the way forward, but that's not what he wants. He wants to barrel roll backwards. Can I have a berry roll, though? Like, that sounds delicious. Like, they are. Like puff pastry with, like, some berries in it. Yeah, it's like a cream, like, right. jelly, like, you know, yeah, yeah jelly roll. In well, the I, think, yeah. I think Evan should go for a berry roll and, like, stick him out there. Do it. Berry roll, man. Because, I mean, like, what? What's a calculator? It calculates one, one of eight on his, like, no of eight dice. Yeah. You know, eating it. So, from, Tim Hortons, don't you know, the jelly-filled berry rolls, you know? No. Yeah. So we should go for the berry roll. You hoser. That sound, that, I mean, that sounds like the thing to do. I can't believe how many Americans asked me to say hoser when I was in uh, Minnesota for Coruscant. They know that that's like a Wisconsin or Michigan thing, right? Yeah, it's totally a Michigan thing. Illinois. Or as Michigan's referred to currently as Lower Canada. Well, they need to stop losing regionals to us. It's kind of hard. Yeah. In the Armada chat, Carlo is named Michigan Remembers. <laughs> They, well, had, they started an entire podcast to complain about Toronto Armada players. Well, they're they're kind of good and worth complaining about. I don't know. Well, let's do a quick repack. Okay, so we've got Alan the Hair Fung, sitting regional champion for uh, New Syracuse, York. New York. And Frederick New Brunswick. And Frederick New Brunswick. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah, that was Eric Z. Won yeah. the Frederick New Brunswick. No, Brunswick. Eric Z went out and won Halifax. It's true. He went out in Halifax. He technically won Michigan, but we're gonna let Tristan have that one. Yeah, Tristan won Michigan. Yep. I mean, the final table was it was an all Canadian final at the Michigan re, at the Michigan regional final. That's, that, the, that's, the, that's, that's, that's called was, hashtag winning. Well, it was one Canadian versus Ghost Fen, which doesn't really have a nationality. It's, it, it's Canadian. It was invented by Kaylin in uh, BC. We, we're not supposed to tell people that. Okay, so Evan, after deliberation, does go for the BR, the sweet jelly filled BR there, and. Um, not, not probably going to get Ark, but we're going to see how fast Rexler went here. Rexler did the three. Okay, so very close. Possibly a bump. That's a four. Uh, is it a four? It is a four. You're right. Okay. Oftentimes, that's how numbers work. Okay. Did not fully execute the maneuver. Does not get the evade token. That was a bumpy bump, eh? Bumpity bump, bump, bump. No, he did. Oh, my goodness. Then he gets everything. Yes, he's taking his tokens. Shockingly, he fit in there. Going to do the aileron first, get around this rock. Probably going to get a chance to delete Forlorn before Forlorn shoots here. Oh, wow. Risky, risky, risky. This is big. Makes it big, big, big. hard to. Tell me he did the two. Oh, snap. That Dutch. looks like a range two shot with a focus to me. Dutch is just going to token up here. What else is he going to do? Yes. Oh, he okay. can't barrel roll, of course. No, he can't move it. That's not how barrel rolls work in 2.0. No. That's how jelly filled barrel rolls work, but, you know. Mm, delicious. The okay, Cavill going to rotate arc. Hard two there, clearing the the hand solo stress. I love the uh, the jerseys that we got for the turret one because the actual, like, cardboard turret indicators that come with the 2.0 sets. They're terrible. They're so hard to spin. Yeah. Like, Jesus. Okay, so. The acrylic's nice and smooth. It's got, it's got a. It's got great movement, wonderful rotation. It's just like slides. Dutch right. is going to take her shot right now. Right the hell now. Because, of course, Rexler has juke. So roll them bones. Okay. Rexler. Oh, Dutch that is a just boy, some meat. There loving we go. it. Okay. Four lawn down to one health. Almost Come. a shame. Unless this is a double. No. If that had been a double and four lawn died here, that would have been the dream. Rexler going to get it. I know, just because I know Samita watch this, Samita's not that lucky to get a direct hit there. <laughs> the fuel leak on the last health, just what you don't need. Everyone's favorite 2.0 crit. Well, at least Rexler gets to shoot, because if Duchess had stolen the glory, Rexler would not have a shot now. Kablam. Okay, well, he only needs to roll one hit. He's fine. The one crit will do. Don't need to spend a focus. You've got juke. Juked. Done. Okay, good. There we go. So, Forlom dies to a crit, which is a bonus damage with fuel leak. I think that's direct hit. Yep. <laughs> he just milled a direct hit out. Awkward. 
that's when Sumit gets the direct hit on his opponents. Is all when the ship's already dead. <laughs> all right, now, you, now the real you know question. I love you. Can a um, ooh dorsal turret? Yeah. Okay. So go. Rex are probably gonna win you here. Uh, sorry, uh, live here. I should yeah. say. He's got to survive the Jakku gunrunner shot. No range on Duchess. Wise decision from e Evan there. Z. Range one, one crit. That's he rough. blanks out here. He's fine. He's and fine. he doesn't. Good. Okay, so Rexler traded okay. the spot that he's in now, which is a good spot because the Jakku can't get him with a tractor beam. When he traded that, he now has denied himself the 4K. He could do another 2K, but that's tough. But he's got to kill something. Yeah. We've and, got and every single game in the room concluded. Everybody crowded around the stream table, uh, just empowering Sumit with the seething power of the dark side here, uh, feeding their negative hate energy through Sumit, uh, directed squarely at that Y-Wing. Well, the Y wing's doing just fine. Like Cavill, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, is going to kill Duchess next turn. See, this is the thing. Um, where Rexler is is ideal. He can three turn and then four K the following turn, go to the late game against Cavill and the Jacky Gun. Um, I don't see Duchess making out out of this turn alive which is, it's tough for her, but Sumit needs to realize that he needs to kill um, one of the two pieces left and half health the other. In any order, he wins that with half of Rexler, right? No, Rexler's 44, and then half of both of them is uh, 14 and 31, which is uh, 14 and 31 is 45. He gets half on either of them. No, if he gets half on position. both of them, then half of both of Evan's ships remaining is one point more than half of Rexler. Uh, That's rough. So Samid's probably focusing on his turns and not the math here, as you should be. Um, actually, no, that's a good question. What bid did, uh, did uh, Samid come with here? So he's got... 112, 100 and... No, he's got, a, he's got 200. He's, he's at 200. Yeah. Yep. So it's true. Um, Evan needs... So Sumit needs to kill the Jakku and half-health Cavill. Or opposite. Half-health Cavill and kill the Jakku. Um, and he's, he's... That's I wonder, factoring in losing Duchess. I wonder if he 2Ks here. Well, I was thinking the same thing, and that's why I was doing the math in my head, because if he 2Ks, he could probably kill the Jakku before it shoots, but then he loses one of the two of them. And if he runs the risk of losing Rexler, there's no way Duchess is going to take Cavill alone in the end of the game. Well, I would trick shot and a dorsal turret. So, I mean, the safe, the smartest move from, from Rexler this turn is uh, a three-turn here and then followed up by a 4K the following turn, Right. Because yeah. then you come at it again this turn, and if the Jakku's like here He's or here... He's only got two rounds. Right? There's, there's, there's nine and a half minutes left in the game, and there's one or two rounds left. Like He's got to move fast. Two rounds with nine minutes? You must be a tie Swarm player. Do you know how many rounds I can get in in no. nine minutes? I know how many rounds you can get in, but like when you're... The speed of these players at this point, I mean, I would imagine we've got two rounds left in this in this game. I'm going to put a shiny quarter on four rounds. Deal. Oh, now which things just got interesting. Folks, that's 25 cents. That's 19 cents American. Yeah. That's, that's a, in Canada, that buys you a whole heck of nothing. And that's not true. You can buy a sour key at the corner store. I look forward to winning this bet. It's true. I don't think you could eat a sour pea if you wanted to, though. I think you paid for my lunch, and it doesn't really matter what happens. <laughs> also, if you haven't tried it, the cauliflower crust pizza from Pizza Pizza is delicious. Heavenly. heavenly. Best pizza they make. Unquestionably. And healthy. Right. Good for you as well. Oh, I imagine. It's not healthy. 
It's pretty carby. It's pretty carby. It's all right. Where are we going? Where are we going? What are we doing? We have the Jakku Gunrunner clearing his men. stress. Ooh. My guess Ooh. is he probably barrel rolls here to block the 2K. Mm, I like it. Yep. Good guess. Just in case. Um, I don't think Rexler's doing you the 2K. You might have played Evan before. I might have played both of these guys once or twice, but I know Sumit, and he's not taking the chances here. He's not going to do a 2K. Sumit and I once had a Punisher off in 1.0 when they were bad. Back when they were bad? It was great. I mean, they weren't that bad. Oh, There's the 2K. So, so very wrong. Spunk. Now that's bad. Don't you just love quad jumpers? 20, so, 28 points of just F you. So now he's going to get a stress. I don't think it was a two. Yeah, it was. Okay. Damn it. That bloody coriander token on the side there. Ooh, no aileron. Straight two turn there. Question about the barrel roll. I think you're probably safe. You can probably just take focus. a focus here. There we go. Do it. All right. So Cavill going to take a uh, a nice leisurely two bank. Oh, he's going too forward. Interesting. Yeah, but he's got a shot on both of his boys there. Not where he is now. The dorsal turret's too far away. Uh, you think? I don't know. So he's going to target lock um, somebody. Going to check ranges to everybody. And you let's check range to any item, anything on the board. You could, yeah, you could put the, the range ruler in every direction of your ship. Yeah, and just you know, three hundred fifty degrees. Yeah, I'm sweeping my computer within range three to choose a lock. So basically, like zoop, if that's a range three, you just go. Right, yeah, I'm gonna check to you. I'm gonna check to you. I'm gonna check to you. I'm gonna check to you, and then I'm gonna lock this rock. Correct. Interesting. Now they're checking to see range one with Duchess on the quad jumper. So I think it's almost unquestionably that Duchess is uh, range one. The question is whether or not she is range one in arc. Uh, and it looks like we're pretty darn close there. Aaron getting in really close. Just far enough out of the camera shot that you can't see how strikingly he resembles Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters. But uh, you'll have to take our word for it, folks. I'm pretty sure they have, like, some sort of family lineage I think convergent as well. Oh, he loathes the Foo Fighters, which makes it even funnier because he looks exactly like Dave Grohl. But anyway, I digress. Now, those are the nice new shiny 2018 templates that are not the right length but are see through, so they're great to determine arc. Sure. I mean, when we say they're not the right length, they're like the width of a grain of rice. Not the right length. That mat listen, that matters sometimes. Duchess rolling two hits on three dice. Very well done. Jack and gun runner. Has, has Evan rolled live. an evade? Evan's dice don't roll evades well. It's those fancy ones. Jack who gun runner on one health. Sumit picking up another sweet 14 well, points. Two Dorsal hits. Turret, two hits. And I think Duchess no, is no, going to roll No, no, this is quad here. jumper. Oh, ho, ho. It's the quad jumper into Duchess. Duchess lives. Everybody on the table exclaiming. A and sigh of congratulations erupts from the other corner of the room, folks. We everyone have everybody in the here is loving the double natties. Surrounded, surrounding that table. Electrifying finish to this match here. We got four and a half minutes left. Five minutes left in the game. Looks like these four. We are on the that round, second Tim. turn. That round, Tim. Exactly five minutes. All right, we got... On the second one here, I said how many? I said four, four turns. I said two. I immediately regret this decision. <laughs> um, You're gonna owe me a shiny, a shiny, uh, shiny it's quarter. Nineteen cents American, man. Yeah. Jeez. Listen, when we were in Wisconsin, and I regret not buying alcohol in in uh, Minneapolis, but I found the worst Canadian rye I have ever found for five U.S. Freedom units at a Walmart in Wisconsin. Well, and you, it's great. I, I warn you to pick up the the whiskey in that truck stop. You had your head, heart set on that Wisconsin cheese from the truck stop on the way down. Well, see, because I'm from Eastern Ontario, and we got gas station cheese, and that's great. You got your St. Albert's curds. You got the local curds. You got the, the local dairy farmers selling it. right? Some, like, fantastic Ontario curd with that real squeak. You know, you make, that's how you know it's good. Like, we got some, like, all that poutine cheese comes out of Eastern Ontario. 
I'll cheese your poutine. Well, please do. And, uh, you know, I come from a place where, you know, that's where the best cheese is. It's sitting there at the truck stop. It's sitting there at the gas station. And that was not true about Wisconsin, folks. That was not great cheese. So judging by the look on both of our players' faces is from across the room, both of them have now realized that if some miracle were to happen and the next round were to conclude and Evan loses the Jakku Gunrunner and does not take out one of Sumit's ships in turn, then the Jakku Gunrunner's other half of 14 points would well, add to Sumit's total and Sumit would be winning by two points. That's where Duchess is going to be. Correct. So he's a 75% chance of going... Shablamo. Correct, because he has to roll the dice twice. Correct, correct. And 50% plus 50% is 75%. Math is fun. Uh, and so he's just going to you know, poodle forward a little, do a little one. He's going to sit there. He's going to do the tractor beam. I think our angle is skewed, my friend. I think that one forward bumps. I think Evan's still going to go for it because he has to, but I'm pretty sure that one bumps. And then we're going to get a little, little banky bank here. A little banky banky brew. Again, though, I think that if the Jack Who bumps, then, then Rexler will probably bump. And Cavill's coming in hot. So, hard two here. He's going to rotate his arc, have a nice little nice little shot. Indeed. The Madden lines up and going. It's great. Tons of fun. I do enjoy it. It's true. So, I think it, this is going to be tough for Sumit right so, now. I mean, the real, the real action next turn is going to be right in here, man. I mean, we are going to decide very quickly uh, whether or not this game is won or lost by what happens in this little... Uh, by you drawing a little furry friend down this, there, like this, a little, this little cat, area down here, because cat monster, is that as we know, whoever rolls dice better in this next turn... Is that your fursona? Did you draw a little, uh, little self-portrait self there? Listen, I am musically inclined. I have visual <laughs> arts uh, skills that equate to zero. Okay? Here's, the, here's the one forward. Yep, it fits. Tractor beam... So me gonna roll that dice or that roll die, I should them say. bones. Oh, she lives. Okay, so and looks it. like the nub might actually be okay. That's Ooh, pretty folks, close, folks, 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 folks. As our premier likes to say, that's uh, oh, seventy-five cents. So seventy-five cents. Seventy-five cents. Seven, that's that's the amount you owe me now. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, unreal. We're going to see if she did the one sloop, which uh, she did. She wants Ark on the Jakku. She wants to take it out. Rexler Brath probably doing the one. Two sloop. Two she sloop. did the two sloop. Okay. It's 1K. That's right. They have a 1K, if I'm mistake. Wow. I don't think the Jakku has Ark. Um, Oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta agree with you on that one, my my good man. Um, I mean, the chances of uh, that Jack who not dying to two rock rolls there is uh, Duchess, Duchess, Duchess. Oh, sorry, Duchess. Yeah, that is just heartbreaking. Also I don't, heartbreaking. I don't, I don't think Rexler's gonna have a shot. I don't think you know, you're right. Duchess gonna. I think have they to... just bumped the Jack. I don't think the Jack who gunner had a shot, but I think. They bumped it enough that now, for sure, it does not have a shot. Now, did Cavill reload his proton torpedo last turn, or no? I, I don't recall. No, he shot, so he, he shot. couldn't have. No, he took a target lock. That's true. So he hasn't reloaded his proton torpedo yet, which means he's probably just going to have to rotate his arc forwards and take his trick shot, uh, four die shot. Because uh, if, if, if he's got range two. If he's got range two. If not, he's just taking a three die primary on Rexler. Because if Rexler dies... It's a happy day for Evan. Evan's going to have the Han Gunner. Dutch is going for the, the kill. Oh, that's the nothing. Car that's the karma for the Rock, though. Oh. You got to. I mean, he rolled all blanks that turn. Okay, Judge getting in there. Looks like it's range three. So they're going to take a primary shot. Um, Evan has passed the point of before you activate, but Samit going to let him Han Gunner anyway. Uh, Trick shot, rolling an extra die. Hit, hit, crit. Spending the focus. Got to get all three paint here. Getting the fourth die with oh, it. So it depends on the crit. Could get three evades and live here. Not going to happen. Okay. Oh. So Rexler goes down. Nothing. Time expires. Nothing. And we had just a really Nothing. great game. Down to the last die roll here. And that was, mm, let me let me do work on the math. Two rounds. Okay, so all in all, <laughs> Timo's Devin, 19 cents. <laughs> and we're on to